everybody, so today I have Clienza with me and we're going to be demonstrating how to use the Pasco portable force plate. So for starters, I'm going to go over here and use the Pasco software. I'm going to click record on it. I'm going to wait a few seconds for it to calibrate. Then I'm going to instruct Clienza to step on here, perform a counter movement jump. And then from there, we're going to end the video and then I'm going to come over and discuss all the different variables that's on the software itself. So for starters, I'm going to hit record. For a few seconds, you're good to step on both plates. All right, Run for a second. And whenever you are ready, you're ready to begin the counter movement jump. Hold for a second, and good. All right, so now we're going to be analyzing the information that came from the Pasco software after jumping on the portable force plates. So the graphs are set up and split into two different ones because of the two different force plates. So the first graph is going to show Clanza's information from her right foot, and then the bottom graph is gonna show data collected on her left foot. So if I actually wanna analyze during the force generation aspect, I'm gonna be looking at this particular area on the graph. So from here, I'm going to click and generate a graph, and then I can run this underneath if I just want to be concerned with the area and that was generated and the force that was generated during this time. From here, I click the Sigma notation and I'm interested in max force. And then I can also show the tabular format. So from here, this is going to give me the information that I need. So we can see max force generated in Cleanse's right foot during her counter movement jump was 700 Newtons. And then we can get the area under the curve and then also from here, if I'm looking at other variables, I can look for time to max force. So then if I wanted to, I could look from point A to point B and see how much time it took to actually get to the max force that was generated on her foot. There's other information that is displayed off to the right that I exited out of just for aesthetic purposes during this video that would actually show me different forces being produced at different like frames. So if we look at Clanza's information from here, we can see that she actually landed with greater force during both her jumps, which is expected because when you're jumping, you tend to land with like two to four times your body mass. So we can see from here, so max force generated was 700 newtons. So let's move this out here just for curiosity, see what the max force. 1600 so that, that's about right she r runs in that two to four times range and i i was interested in impulse or the flight time then i can look at the time from point a when she leaves the force platform to point b to when she would return to the force platform and then if i was interested in more injury purpose stuff like different mechanical properties of the landing aspect then i would look at the information more towards the right and see the force generated and the same applies for information on Cleanza's left foot, but for time purposes, this is basically the same thing. But interestingly enough, you can compare data and see, does this individual like create more force off of one foot or do they happen to land uh, with more force on one foot in particular? So let's look as an example. So let's see, max force generate on that. So let's go max, get rid of min. So we can see eh, relatively pretty even. So Clans is able to generate pretty even force when she actually jumps off. So she's jumping off during a propulsion phase with equal force. But that's a quick little rundown on the information that can be generated from the PEPSCO software on the portable force plates.